everybody. This video is about two ways of mind social experiments. Our experiment is about distraction. Our big question is, how does distraction change over time? It seems like an easy question, but actually, it's pretty hard to do, even if you're with two people. After we asked the question, we had to do research about background information. The main thing we learned is that if you swap your attention, it's called a mind switch, and it will take about 20 minutes to get back to your first attempt. You might be back at that attention, but for the next 20 minutes, the things you will learn, you will forget. The next step is to form a hypothesis from all the research that you have done. Our hypothesis is that it will be a neutral correlation, because you go from down to up, and from up to down. Our next step is to conduct it. That's the best and the most fun part. You need to remember that you will need to be very organized. Here are two primary students doing the experiment. Oh. After doing the experiment, you will need to reflect on your experiment. It is called analyze. Putting the data together and forming it into information using charts and graphs, like the one we have used up here. And answering questions like, what do you see? And what do you see in the chart? Next, you will make a conclusion. That's the big reflection part. You will ask yourself, what happened? And how does this compare you to your hypothesis? I was sort of was right, because it went from down to up, and from up to down, in the right order. But we thought that the change would happen in, in the middle, but it happened in grade two. In the conducting part, you ask yourself if it went well or if you had good answers at the end. And those sort of questions. This is a short summary of my experiment. Thank you.